Well, let's start there then, Simon. You've been uh, you've been given a cowbell to represent <laughs> one year since you've been announced at the club. Um, reflecting, what's been the biggest thing you've learned? Um, well, I've learned a lot of things. I mean, obviously, when I first got here, um, you know, we had a big job to stay in Super League, and we were able to do that. We, you know, we had some good buying from the guys early, and we were able to to establish some momentum, get a few wins, and we built we built off the back of that. Um, you know, this year's a new year and it's been challenging, um, you know, a lot of guys unavailable, um, you know, not being able to keep the same team on the field week in week out, particularly with our, you know, our spines being difficult, but um, I think reflecting on the, on the first half of the year, I think, you know, while it hasn't been ideal, we're still in a position where once we get our players back, we can really, you know, start stringing some wins together and be still there come finals time, but, um, you know, we we can't keep saying that week after week after week. We need to we need to start, you know, get through get through this week and the Challenge Cup the week after, and hopefully we'll have the majority of our squad back after that. And um, you know, there's still plenty to play for in the back half of the year, that's for sure. You're going well when you hard time last time out, but then you have picked up injuries. I know you talked about the players being embarrassed and what have you, but on the injury front, what's happened um, and who do you have available and who's missing? Oh, look, we'll have Seb and um, Ollie Roberts and those sort of guys available for selection this week. Um, you know, with a short turnaround, Matty English and Joe Joe Wardle won't be available with their head concussion um, protocol. Um, Jordan Turner will be back this week as well. So we've got some quality coming back into the team, but, you know, obviously losing a couple sort of negates that a little bit. Seems to be, you know week in week out it's the same scenario for us at the moment but you know long-term injuries like you know Ferguson and um and uh, Leroy they're they're closer now so hopefully Fergie next week Leroy not too far um after him so there is light at the end of the tunnel and like I said you know you know apart from the top couple of teams everyone seems to be winning and losing so we're still um in a good position just well within striking distance of that top five we just you know we just once we get through the next couple of weeks and get everyone back and um, you know I'm confident we can go on a winning run and, and establish um, our place up where we want to be. Michael Lawrence all right as well? Yeah Bruno's yeah. he's pulled up pretty good he's he's got an ongoing he need to main he's got maintenance of his knee he blows up after games so he needs to look after that we need to monitor his training and his loads which we do but um, he's pulled up great after the Warrington game so he'll be fine to go this week. How demanding has it been on you then? to juggle the pack all the time? Oh, it's been difficult. It's been hard for everyone involved. It's, um, you know, some weeks we've, we're scrounging for a team and then we think we've got players back and they don't quite make it and we get players back and we lose someone. So we're not the only team going through at the moment. You know, you, you look at Hull and Wakefield, our opposition this week, they're, they're probably worse off than us at the moment. Um, you know, St Helens are starting to get a few injuries. Uh, you know, Leeds have had their injury issues. I mean, I think it's a... You know, Warrington and maybe, you know, Cass have had their fair share. So there's a lot of teams going through the same as us. Um, you know, uh, Warrington, our opposition on the weekend, are probably the only team that are pretty much full strength at the moment. So, um, you know, that's gave them so much ball in the second half against a quality team like Warrington. That's, you know, they're always going to do that to you. So, you know, we'll take the positive out of what we did in the first 40 and we'll move on to Wacky this week. The um, Chris Chester, obviously, are big friends, I understand. Where did that friendship come from? Oh, no, you, Chesie, I've obviously met him a couple of times at the coaches do, and we've coaches functions, and we've struck a bit of a friendship there. We, um, you know, we talk often. He's, he's a good guy. Um, he's doing a good job at Wakey, too. Didn't talk to him after they beat us last time, but, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, he's going through a tougher time than us at the moment. I mean, I think early on in the year, he... He, he was pretty healthy, but you know they've got some key players missing at the moment too. Their halves and you know um, Tupu and Johnson and those sort of guys and Ashurst. They got they got quite a, the majority of their cap sitting on the sideline too at the moment. So they've done a good job to scrape a couple of wins. You know with the injuries they've got, and they'll be looking to do the same. They'll see this week as an opportunity for them, no doubt about it. Um, so uh, we we need to make sure um, we bounce back from the second half of Warrington and make sure we bounce back this week. Danny Clough had the deciding sort of moment, didn't he, in the last game? Um, I understand he won't be playing. Uh, I'm pleased to tell you about that. Yeah, well, yeah, no, look, it was always, you know, the longer that game went on last time, you know, Bruffy was always going to come into it. He, he doesn't miss many field goals. So, um, you know, we've, that's been and gone now. We, we, we looked at that game and we put ourselves in a position to win that and we weren't quite good enough. Um, so, 
um, we've moved on from that and we'll get on with this week now. You and Chris, and do you look at the game in the same way and do you think that will be obvious when you, when you come together this weekend? Oh, I guess so. I mean, you know, um, you can only prepare with what you've got and um, I'm sure Chris is learning that. He's, he's been able to get a couple of players into their squad, um, you know, Kate and Brown and those sort of guys, getting, his, you know, Reynolds got him back off loan. So they, they've done a fair, pretty good job. Young Reynolds has done a good job for Wakey while Bruffy and um, Miller have been out. So, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of going with what you got and doing your best. You can't you can't mope and, and kick stones over who's not playing. You've got to worry about who is playing. Um, you can get caught up with, with who's not playing and you you lose sight of the job in hand. So it's it's about you know, picking your best team that you got available and, and working with that the best you can. And, and who have you sort of looked towards to sort of lift the sort of mood after the second half of the last game? Do the players do it themselves as an organic thing or do you have to sort of crack the whip a bit inside? Oh yeah, look, it's this week it's, it's um, you know, they've had the day off yesterday. Obviously mm. we're back in today. We, you know, it'll be a light week again, five day turnaround, still coming off the back of Easter. So like I said, it's, um, you know, it's everyone's job to make sure we're up. You know, we get the best the most out of our session today and get the most out of our captain's run Thursday and look that's you know it's it's the coach's job it's a senior player's job it's it's everyone's job to make sure to make sure we don't dwell on you know we've got a there's quite a lot of positives in that first half against Warrington like I said we played against a full team full strength Warrington team and we went in at half time in the lead so there's a lot of positives to come out of that the second half there are a lot of issues you know you know they had they had 25 sets we had 14 I mean they had the ball 15 minutes longer than we did for the game. I mean, that's just, you know, you're not going to win any game when you give the opposition 15 minutes more ball than you. It's, you know, when you do it against Warrington with blokes like Clark and Austin and those sort of guys, you're like, you just don't give yourself a chance. And, you know, there were some factors there out of our control that contributed to that, but there were certainly a, a lot of factors there where, you know, we needed to be better. You know, we let them out of their own end two or three times, you know, tackle three tackle four penalties, you know, when the game was still in the balance and mm. you give a team like Warrington good field position like we did and they start, they start off loading the ball and playing second phase and Austin's out the back of that and um, you just it's it's just um, suicide. You just can't you just can't control them when you give them that field position and you know you lose your way a bit with your D because you're fatigued and you know yeah. just things just spiral from bad to worse and that's what happened to us um, and Warrington are a good team they put 38 points on in the second half and um, you know it's easy to dwell on that but you know we got to, we got to look at what we did right as well in that first half and you know the fact we came in at half time against you know quality team Warrington is um, we, we've obviously done a fair bit right in that first half. Are you expecting an open game against Wakefield? Yeah I think so look Wakefield they're never beaten are they I mean they've won you know they've been I've seen them down by 20 26, 28 points this year, a couple, two or three times, and they've only just fallen short. So they're never beaten. That's a, that is a quality they do have. They um, they don't give up. Um, you know, they've been in positions this year where I've nearly turned the TV off because the game was over, and they've they've almost come back and won, and and probably should have won one or two of them. You know, the Warrington game was one, and the Cass game a couple of weeks ago was another. Where you know they were down and out, and they came back and actually probably should have won. Not for a decision or two, they would have. Um, so. Um, their team, you know, they're down. They're down on uh, numbers at the moment, down on a bit of quality, but they're certainly not down on fight and spirit. And um, we need to make sure we bring that same fight on Friday. And finally, so you're one year in. Have you achieved a lot of your goals? And where will you want to be in a, in a year's time? What would you have achieved? Oh, look, obviously last year, you know, our goal was to stay in Super League and not be in those qualifiers. We did that, so that was fantastic. But, you know, you know, goals, you know, as far as where we want to be, no, not for this year. We're, we're a bit bit off at the moment. Like I said, there's some a lot of factors that have influenced that. Mm -hmm. um, but what we can do is um, make sure um, that we have a, have a really good second half of the year. Like I said, we get, we get our team together, um, which we will at some stage. Um, I've got full confidence that we can string three, four, five, six wins together and, you know, that'll put us in the fight. So um, it's just... Um, you know, it's, it's it's one week at a time at the moment. Um, it's Wakefield this week. Then we'll worry about Challenge Cup uh, the week after, um, and then you know, then we can look at getting into the second half of the year. Great, thank you very much. Cheers. All right.